You, my man, Clockazy. What are you got? You only have Harden, so you're not going to be very good in your current state. I reckon you need some new moves, so what have I got that I could give you? Can you Fury Cut people? Teach Fury Cutter? No. What can it do? Nightmare? No. Thief? Probably not. No. Attract Swagger I don't want. Mudslap Iron Tail. Sweet Scent. Rollout. Dynamic Punch. Maybe when you get your level up, because... Let me see. At the level you're at right now, Clucker Z, you are definitely probably going to be evolving yourself, and maybe then you'll be getting your moves. That's what I'm pinning my hopes on anyway. Now the problem is, since I took out the uh, the rocket hideout, there's officially no Mart place. There's nothing. Where I, there's nowhere I can buy anything in Mahogany Town. What's my packs like right now? Um, I can't sell away all my X defense as well just to get a little bit more money. Cannot do that. Awakening ethers. Restoring the PP, that's what they do. Apricorns, X accuracies. See, all this stuff I really should heal, uh, not heal, sell at some point, I should say. Should do that. Magic Carp have returned to the Lake of Rage. That should be good news for the anglers there. Oh, yeah, I did that, didn't I? Seems like there's nothing else for me to do in this city apart from taking on gym number seven. Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym. Leader is Price. The teacher of winter's harshness. Must refrain from bursting into Frozen Song. Must refrain. Must refrain from Frozen references. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. He's said to be good at freezing opponents with ice type moves. That means you should melt him with your burning ambition. I.e. use fire if you're not if you would not be so cryptic, please. That would be grand. How is everybody doing right now? They is all full health. Lord L, you're going to be the dude. You're going to be the dude to help me do this. But knowing what the state of some gyms are in the history of Pokemon, all of these ice types could be infused with the secondary type advantage over me. So, uh, off the top of my bat, let's see. Some of them could be waters, which will cancel out the fire type advantage. There's a couple of ice psychics as well. A nice ground. You can have, you can have virtually most things that go with an ice type. And that could probably do me in, screw me over a little bit. What I want to do is just, uh, yeah, switch. Bring Clocker C to the front. Have this guy at the front get a share of the experience. And we should hopefully see him level up. We need to take out some guys. I'm going to go for this dude. Yo, I'll finish your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. Oh, that's a big thing to look out for as well. If any of them have any freezy attacks. That could put the freeze on me. But a Ronald McDonald wants to battle. But you got Seal! Hello, you big doofus. Go, Clocker Z. And now come back, Clocker Z. There's a good possibility that Bugadu might be getting a level here as well. Depending on how much uh, experience this Seal will give me from the share. Let's see what Nightshade will do damage wise. And of course, Aurora Beam is something you need to look out for, but luckily, I think Booganute's special defense is absorbing that quite nicely, so one final lick. Save some of your nightshades for the later, guys. Bye-bye, seal. 256. How much is that on Booganute? Yeah, it's fine. Now you got... Do Gong, 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 gong. Do Gong, 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 gong. What do you got? Aurora Beam, again? Now, what's that gonna do? Ah, slightly more now that you're a more powerful Pokemon. Okay. I'd like to say Booganuk can survive this. Aurora Beam again. So long as it's not a critical, I should be fine. I should be good. I'm good. Make sure of it. Goodbye, Dugong. You have a very weird noise in the uh, the animes. You go, Dugong, gong, 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 because I killed you. You go like that because I killed you. Boogie is now level 32. Brilliant. You're surely going to finish the job. How much is Aurora being going to do to a Grisash, I wonder? Oh! It's a, it's a super effective move, but... Not a very great deal of damage. Actually, that's quite surprising. And Wing Attack is almost a one-hit KO. 
Just gotta be careful of those Aurora Beams. What's the type of vines over it? Because it's water type, isn't it? Is it a water type move Aurora Beam? I can't remember. So here we got an interesting little puzzle to solve here because the floor is all ice apart from a few certain little spots here and there. So you've got to try and figure out what path to follow. You go on the ice, you slide all the way. You go on the ice, you slide all the way until you reach a metal bit and now I've got to fight another trainer. This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. I don't think ice is fun. If you slip on ice, you fall on your bum bum. You fall on your bum bums and it's not pleasant to fall on your bum bums. What you got? Sweet ups! Little sweet ups! And now please, oh, you're enduring the hit. You're going to endure this hit. So you're gonna, you're gonna last out a little bit longer, Swinub. Would this be a one hit knockout otherwise? It probably would have been, you know. Thank you, Lord Al. And you're, why are you doing it again? Are you seriously going to survive this? You shouldn't survive this. You should not. How the hell? Even at one HP that's using Endure, Swinup is still surviving it. This is, that's, that's something I've learned new. He's gonna, oh, come on. Come on, not even Quick Attack's gonna do it. Stop enduring, Swinup, please. Stop it, thank you. Thank you, it failed. Uh, boy. Next Pokemon, please. Cloyster. Cloyster is here, look at that, it's a beast. He is a beast. Oh no, they've got Protects. Darn it. Darn it all to hell. Hey, I just noticed Cloyster kind of looks like the women parts. The rude little women parts. I'm probably not the first guy to ever make that joke, but I just noticed it and I thought it was quite hilarious. Oh well. I'm easily amused. Oh, bites a one-hit KO with a critical. Good job, Gekido. You swindled out of a level, though. Why? To get to prize our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. I've been thinking. I think all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I think. Yep. And it hurts. Okay. We've got a nice psychic here. We've got a Jinx. Jinx could easily jinx this whole operation. Get it? Play on words. Jinx could jinx the entire operation. Oh, I'm so hilarious. What does one do in this situation? He's going to send out Gekido again. That's what I'm going to do. And Clock Z is definitely going to level up from this. As will Gekido if he survives it. Powder Snow. Right, that's a flying... Oh, no. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chilly passions, chilly passions. Bite! Nom, 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 nom! Yes! Thank god I realized you still had a dark type attack in you, Gekido. And then you don't have anything... You don't have any type disadvantages against it. And double attack missed. Double slap. Didn't do anything. And... Ooh, close. Yeah, freeze me all you want. All you want. You can try and do that all you want. Even though that's a critical. You can, you can do that for days and that'd be... I'd be like brushing it off like, ah, that's nothing, man. That's nothing, bro. Chill, I got this, all right? Clock is now level 21. And so is Gekido, although he's level 31. That's the difference between the two. I beat Roxanne. Roxanne! That's probably a clip my microphone to hell. I wouldn't lose to you in skiing. This isn't skiing, though. This is Pokemon battling. And clearly, you're losing at that. What? Clock is he starting to evolve? Ooh, he's a bee drill now. He's a bee drill. The big scary bug bee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Please pick up a new attack. Please say you pick up a new attack. How, you, how did you not pick up a new attack? Nope, and then up here, then up here, then down there, and then down there, and then up here, and then across. There we go, made it. All of our Pokemons are up to snuff. Clockazy is now a Beedrill, still hasn't learned the attack, so we'll just keep him out of it for now. Um, best to lead out with. I've got no idea who, to be honest. This Crusade to Victory, who to lead it with? Probably gonna make it Vilek. Let's let's lead with that. Let's do let's do that. Okay, we're ready, guys. Let's take on Price. 
Pokemon in many experiences in their lives just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Tell me about it. I mean, it's a Nuzlocke. I've suffered many loss, suffered many losses. I mean, yeah, I see what you feel. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Is it over 9,000? What does my scout say about your power level? Wait, wrong thing, wrong thing. Anyway, I'm distracted. Price, gym leader battle. This needs um, full concentration. Yes, of course it does. Level 27 seal. That'll be a good start. Uh, acid. Throw a bit of uh, burny stuff into its face to start this battle off. That's okay. Icy wind. What's icy wind gonna do? Sheik. Sheik. Just does in my speed. Fair enough. And I have the type advantage over being a water, and that's an ice type, obviously. Headbutt. Ah, that's nothing. That's good. Acid! Again! All the acids! <laughs> Nearly dead. Nearly dead. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You can get off a bubble beam just to rub it in its face, even though it's doubly not effective because of water and ice. But oh well. Yay, level 31. Do you get a new attack here? No. Okay. Next Pokemon, please! Do gong 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 gong. Why am I switching out? I don't want to switch out. I've present I've prevented myself from switching out in the Nuzlocke, unless there's another Pokemon being brought in. Uh, you probably might survive this. Uh, what you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Dugong headbutt. How long can I keep this up? I can put keep this up uh, for quite a while actually. Surf. And then I'm gonna confuse you because. That'll be funny if I can get you to hit yourself in the face. It'll be hilarious. Headbutt again. Okay. Get the supersonic on it. He didn't affect you this time. Darn it. I'll chance my arm one more time and then get you out of there. No, it's not working. It's not working. And I... I shouldn't really carry you on, Violek. I shouldn't really. Well, if it's a normal type move... Switch. If it's normal type attacks, if it's going to keep using headbutt, then Booganoot is going to resist. Yes! <laughs> this is my evil laugh. It's a really retarded laugh, but it's not. Yeah. What's Icy Wing going to do here? Sheik. Sheik. Cool. Cool. That's, that's, that's alright, actually. I'm just going to nightshade you again, because why the hell not? Bye-bye, Dugong. You didn't really do much there, let's be honest. Final Pokemon. And it's a Pillar Swine. Of course, I remembered. This is the star Pokemon of price. A Pillar Swine. It's level 31. Oh. 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 Right. Should I warm it up a little bit with a Confuse Ray? See if it'll hurt itself in the face. See if it'll hurt itself in its stupid hairy face. Enemy pillow swan is confused. Please? Ha 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 ha. Good start. Good start. And then what now? Get a nightshade on. At this rate, I probably might not even need to use Lordal for the fire types. Ooh, confused? Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, dude! Dudes! This is awesome! This is awesome! Everything is awesome! Aw, oh, hurt yourself in the face, hurt yourself in the face, it'll do me the world of good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I didn't even need to use Lordal. Didn't even need to use any fire types against the gym leader. That's fantastic. That was easier than I ever expected. That was a breeze of a gym battle, let's be honest. Ah, I am impressed by your prowess and your uber skills at the game. With your strong will, I know you'll overcome all of life obstacles. You are worthy of the next badge. 
I present to you the Glacier Badge. We're making headway, guys. This is good. That badge will raise the special stats of the Pokemon. It also lets Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. If it wasn't obvious already. And this is a gift from me, too. What is TM16? What you got for me? This is Icy Wind. It inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. When the ice and snow melt, spring arrives. You and your Pokemon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. It is more time than I have on this earth. Cause I am an old fat. Not fat, but I am an old fart and will probably expire soon. Oh, that's harsh. I'm so sorry. That is actually so harsh of me. Hello. Beaten, uh, beaten the gym. Beaten seven gyms out of eight. And now Professor Elm wants to ring me. How are things going? I call because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about this? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Oh, sorry to bug you. Take care. I have a feeling story is about to unfold. I could head this way, actually. But... I really feel like I should be like advancing some story a little bit, so pay a bit to the Pokemon Center first and then go towards, uh, what is it, Golden Rod City, where the radio station is? Where they do the broadcast from? Thank you for waiting, your Pokemon are fully healed. We shall hope to see you again. Thank you very much, Miss Joy Lady. 